Welcome to Short Forma, home of the world's shortest documentaries. We bring you fascinating stories and knowledge in bite-sized pieces that fit perfectly into your busy life. Today, we're excited to introduce our new series, Binge the World, 30 Mind-Blowing Docs in 30 Minutes. In each episode, we'll take you on a whirlwind tour of 30 of our favorite mini-documentaries, covering big ideas, mind-bending mysteries, and awe-inspiring adventures. If you want to join our growing community of curious minds, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to help us spread the love of learning. Now sit back, relax, and get ready for an epic journey through the world of short forma. Let's dive in. Here's another one-minute documentary about Julius Caesar, presented by Short Forma. Julius Caesar was a Roman general and statesman who was key to the demise of the Roman Republic and the rise of the Roman Empire. As a boy, he was kidnapped by pirates, who demanded a ransom of silver for his release. After being freed, Caesar raised a fleet, pursued and captured the pirates, and then had them executed. He was a brilliant military strategist and a gifted orator, known for his ambitious political goals and his daring military campaigns. After rising to power and declaring himself dictator for life, he introduced major reforms, such as the Julian calendar, still used today. Caesar was assassinated by a group of senators in 44 BC at the age of 56. His death marked the beginning of the Roman Empire. Today, Caesar is remembered as a symbol of Roman power and ambition. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more one-minute documentaries. Here's another one-minute documentary about tech icon Steve Jobs, presented by Short Forma. Born in 1955, Jobs was a visionary tech entrepreneur who co-founded Apple and attained massive success despite not having a college degree. Before his career, Jobs dropped out of college and backpacked through India seeking spiritual enlightenment, which he said was one of the most important experiences of his life. He had a strict diet, consisting mostly of fruits and vegetables. He even considered becoming a fruitarian. Fired from Apple in 1985, Jobs went on to found Next Computer and Pixar Studios before returning to Apple in 1997, where he launched the iPod, iPhone, and iPad. One has to wonder what Jobs would have thought about the rise of artificial intelligence. Would he have embraced it, or seen it as a threat to the human touch he valued in his designs? We can only speculate, but one thing is for sure. Steve Jobs' legacy lives on in the technology we use every day. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one-minute documentary about aviation pioneer Amelia Earhart presented by Short Forma. Earhart made history as the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean in 1932. She was one of the first women to receive a pilot's license and was taught by Nita Snook, another female aviation pioneer. Years later, while attempting to circumnavigate the globe, Earhart and her navigator Fred Noonan disappeared over the Pacific, and no trace of the plane was ever found. Earhart may have had a premonition as she reportedly told her husband, I have a feeling that there is just about one more good flight left in my system. There have been countless theories and speculation she crash-landed on a remote island or was captured by the Japanese with reported sightings of her long after her disappearance. The mystery of Amelia Earhart endures to this day and continues to captivate the world. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one-minute documentary about the biggest party ever thrown, presented by Short Forma. In 1581, King Philip II of Spain threw a party so epic that it lasted three months. The party was held in honor of his son's engagement to a princess from Austria. Over 50,000 guests attended the event, including nobles and foreign dignitaries. The party was so grand that it included an entire city built specifically for the occasion. Guests were treated to extravagant feasts, live performances, and spectacles that would make your jaw drop. At one point, King Philip even staged a mock sea battle with two full-sized galleys in a man-made lake. Despite the extravagance, the party had a lasting impact on the Spanish economy and may have contributed to the downfall of the Spanish Empire. Maybe one day we'll see another party of such epic proportions. But until then, let's just sit back and marvel at the sheer audacity of King Philip's three-month extravaganza. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one-minute documentary about World War I, the war that changed the world forever, presented by Short Forma. World War I began in 1914 and lasted until 1918, involving the major powers of Europe and their respective colonies. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria by a Serbian nationalist was the trigger for the war which would be fought on multiple fronts, including Europe, Africa, and Asia. 
It ended with the Treaty of Versailles in 1919, which imposed harsh conditions on Germany and its allies. The war left Europe devastated and led to the rise of new powers, including the United States and the Soviet Union. Historian Barbara Tuckman once said, War is the unfolding of miscalculations. World War I was a tragic example of the consequences of political and military miscalculations. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one-minute documentary about the swinging 1960s, presented by Short Forma. The 60s were a decade of social and cultural revolution that saw a seismic shift in attitudes towards civil rights, sexual liberation, and anti-war protests. One of the most notable events of the decade was the Woodstock Music Festival in 1969, which drew hundreds of thousands of people and came to represent the countercultural movement of the time. Alongside this, the decade also witnessed major political and historical events, such as the Cuban Missile Crisis and the assassinations of Martin Luther King and John F. Kennedy. The decade was defined by cultural triumphs and tragedies like the Vietnam War, hippies, and the Beatles. American author and activist James Baldwin summed up the 60s by saying, Not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. Follow Short Forma for more one-minute documentaries about the decades. Here's another one-minute documentary about the legendary conqueror Alexander the Great, presented by Short Forma. Alexander the Great was a king of Macedonia, who created one of the largest empires in ancient history. He was known for his military prowess, strategic thinking, and leadership skills. According to historian Robin Lane Fox, Alexander's vision was larger than mere conquest. He wanted to create a new world order, where Greeks and non-Greeks could live together in harmony and prosperity. Alexander's military campaigns took him across the known world, from Greece to Egypt, Persia, and India. He fought against powerful empires and legendary leaders, such as Darius III and Porus. His tactics and strategies were studied for centuries by military commanders. Despite his achievements, Alexander died at the young age of 32, leaving behind a legacy that has endured through the ages. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. One Minute Documentaries to Make You Smarter, presented by Short Forma. There's potentially no bigger mystery than the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle is a stretch of ocean between Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda that has been the subject of countless theories and legends. According to historian Gayan Prakash, it's a place of legend, a place of myth, and a place of mystery. Over the years, numerous ships and planes have vanished in the triangle, including the USS Cyclops in 1918 and Flight 19 in 1945. But is there really something sinister at work, or are these simply accidents? Mystery lovers won't like hearing this, but marine geologist David Gallo says, most of the disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle can be attributed to natural phenomena such as human error, piracy, and bad weather. However, the mystery will remain until science can explain boats and planes vanishing without a trace in the Bermuda Triangle. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. One Minute Documentaries to Make You Smarter, presented by Short Forma. Colors surround us and affect our mood and emotions. Neuroscientist Bevel Conway explains, Our brain interprets colors from light wavelengths. Color psychologist Angela Wright adds, different colors evoke emotions and responses, creating environments that positively affect us. Research shows colors also impact our body. Color therapist Elaine Aaron says color affects our hormones and metabolism. Red stimulates passion, energy, and appetite, raising heart rate. Blue creates calmness, tranquility, and reduces stress. Science proves color's powerful impact on well-being, so next time, consider how colors affect you. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one-minute documentary about the history of the Easter Bunny, presented by Short Forma. The Easter Bunny, that adorable symbol of Easter, actually has roots that date back to ancient pagan festivals celebrating spring. But how did this cute and cuddly creature become associated with a Christian holiday? Legend has it that the Easter Bunny started delivering eggs as a symbol of new life. But in reality, it was likely a commercial creation. The first edible Easter bunnies appeared in Germany in the 1800s, and they quickly caught on in popularity. Today, the Easter bunny is a ubiquitous presence during the Easter season, with kids eagerly anticipating his arrival and baskets full of treats. While the history of the Easter bunny may be shrouded in mystery and commercialization, one thing is for sure. He's a beloved part of Easter traditions. So go ahead, enjoy some chocolate bunnies and colorful eggs, and have a happy Easter. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. 
One Minute Documentaries to Make You Smarter, presented by Short Forma. In ancient Egypt, female pharaohs were a rarity. Hatshepsut was one of the few women to ascend to the throne and rule successfully. Her reign was marked by impressive building projects, military campaigns, and trade expeditions. However, her legacy was nearly lost when her male successor tried to erase her from historical records. Despite ruling in a male-dominated society, Hatshepsut used her intelligence, leadership, and cunning to maintain power. She even dressed as a man and donned a fake beard to assert her authority as pharaoh. Under her rule, Egypt enjoyed a time of prosperity, with trade flourishing and the construction of impressive monuments, such as the temple at Deir el-Bari. She ruled over two decades before she was succeeded by her stepson, who attempted to erase her from the historical record. Despite his efforts, Hatshepsut's legacy survived as a true trailblazer for women in leadership. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one-minute documentary about one of history's most fearsome conquerors, presented by Short Forma. Meet Genghis Khan, one of history's most fearsome conquerors. Born to Mujin, he rose to power in the late 12th century and went on to unite the nomadic tribes of Mongolia. He then launched a series of campaigns that would result in the creation of the largest empire the world had ever seen. Genghis Khan was a brilliant strategist and a master of the art of war. He is said to have personally killed his own brother in a fight for supremacy and to have ordered the execution of an entire city after it surrendered to him. But he was also known for his progressive policies, such as religious tolerance and merit-based promotion. His legacy lives on to this day in the form of the Mongol Empire, which at its height stretched from China to Eastern Europe. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one-minute documentary about the murder of legendary fashion designer Gianni Versace, presented by Short Forma. Gianni Versace was at the height of his career in July 1997, when he was shot dead outside his Miami Beach mansion by serial killer Andrew Cunanan. The murder shocked the fashion world, and the investigation that followed uncovered a web of lies, secrets, and scandals. Versace was born in Italy in 1946, and founded his fashion house in 1978, and quickly became known for his bold designs and innovative use of materials. But on July 15, 1997, his life was cut short by Cunanan, a spree killer who had already murdered four other people before targeting Versace. The investigation that followed revealed that Cunanan was motivated by jealousy and a desire for fame. The murder of Gianni Versace remains one of the most shocking crimes in the history of the fashion industry. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one-minute documentary about the mysterious ancient site of Gobekli Tepe, presented by Short Forma. Gobekli Tepe is a 1,200-year-old temple complex that predates Stonehenge and the pyramids of Egypt. Located in modern-day Turkey, it was discovered in the 1960s, but only began to be excavated in the 1990s. What makes Gobekli Tepe so fascinating is that it challenges everything we thought we knew about the origins of civilization. The people who built it were believed to be hunter-gatherers, yet they managed to create a complex system of megaliths, some weighing up to 16 tons. The purpose of the site remains a mystery. Some experts believe it was a religious center, while others think it may have been a communal gathering place. What we do know is that Gobekli Tepe is a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of our ancient ancestors. It reminds us that there is still so much we don't know about our past. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Get ready for a whirlwind tour of the gods of Greek mythology in this one-minute documentary brought to you by Short Forma. The ancient Greeks worshipped a pantheon of powerful gods and goddesses who ruled over every aspect of life. From Zeus, the mighty king of the gods and lord of the sky and thunder, to his brothers Poseidon, master of the sea, and Hades, ruler of the underworld. Meanwhile, Aphrodite was the enchanting goddess of love and beauty. Apollo, the radiant god of the sun, music and prophecy, and Athena, the fierce goddess of wisdom and war. These awe-inspiring deities, often portrayed in human form, wielded extraordinary powers that inspired both reverence and fear. Their legendary tales, passed down through the ages, captivate and intrigue us to this day. Stay tuned to Short Forma for more fascinating one-minute documentaries on mythology, history, and beyond. Here's another one-minute documentary about the fascinating history of surfing, presented by Short Forma. Did you know that surfing was first practiced over 1,000 years ago by the Polynesians? They used wooden boards and rode the waves as a form of worship. Fast forward to the 20th century, and surfing became a popular recreational activity, with Hawaii becoming the center of the surfing world. 
surfing has had a significant impact on popular culture, influencing everything from music to fashion. The Beach Boys popularized surfing in the 1960s with their hit songs about catching waves, and surf fashion became a trend with people sporting board shorts and Hawaiian shirts. Today, surfing is a professional sport with competitions held all over the world, but it's more than just a sport. It's a way of life for many people who feel a deep connection to the ocean and the waves. As legendary surfer Duke Kahanamoku said, out of the water, I am nothing. Surfing truly is a lifestyle that has captured the hearts of many. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one minute documentary about the story of the internet, presented by Short Forma. In the early 1960s, the US Department of Defense developed a computer networking system called ARPANET, the precursor to the internet. By the 1980s, the internet had expanded to universities and research centers around the world, and the World Wide Web was invented by Tim Berners-Lee in 1989. The internet has since revolutionized the way we communicate, do business, and access information, connecting billions of people across the world. Today, we can access the internet from our smartphones, tablets, and computers. According to Statista, there are over 4.8 billion internet users worldwide as of 2021. As researcher Vince Cerf said, the internet is a reflection of our society, and that mirror is going to be reflecting what we see. If we do not like what we see in that mirror, the problem is not to fix the mirror, but to fix the society. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one-minute documentary about the history of the hot dog, presented by Short Forma. Have you ever wondered why we call it a hot dog? The origin of the name is a bit murky, but one story goes that in the late 1800s, a cartoonist named Tad Dorgan attended a baseball game where he saw a vendor selling sausages and rolls. He couldn't remember the name of the sausage, so he drew a cartoon of a dachshund in a roll and labeled it a hot dog. Another theory is that the term hot dog may have come from the German word dachshund, which means badger dog, and was a common term for a type of sausage that was similar in shape. Regardless of its origin, the hot dog has become an American classic, with millions of them consumed every year. Whether you like yours with ketchup, mustard, or even sauerkraut, the hot dog remains a beloved part of American cuisine. And that's the history of the hot dog in under a minute. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one minute documentary about how our eyes work, presented by Short Forma. Have you ever wondered how we're able to see the world around us? It's all thanks to our eyes, which work like cameras to capture and process images. Light enters the eye through the cornea, which focuses the light onto the retina at the back of the eye. The retina contains photoreceptor cells called rods and cones that convert the light into electrical signals and send them to the brain through the optic nerve. Interestingly, our eyes have a blind spot where the optic nerve connects to the retina, but our brains fill in the missing information so we don't even notice it. And did you know that our eyes are capable of processing 36,000 bits of information every hour? That's a lot of data. So next time you marvel at the beauty of the world around you, take a moment to appreciate the incredible work your eyes are doing to bring it all to life. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. One Minute Documentaries to Make You Smarter, presented by Short Forma. What if you could control your dreams? Enter the fascinating world of lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming is the ability to become aware that you are dreaming and control the dream. During a lucid dream, your brain is in a unique state where you are conscious but your body is asleep. According to sleep expert Dr. Matthew Walker, lucid dreaming is associated with increased activity in the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain responsible for conscious decision-making. Once you realize that you are in a dream, you can take control and do whatever you want. You can fly, visit different worlds, or even talk to your subconscious. Some people even use lucid dreaming as a tool for personal growth and self-discovery. By keeping a dream journal and analyzing your dreams, you can learn about your deepest desires and fears. With practice, anyone can learn to lucid dream. The possibilities are endless. As Dr. Walker says, it's an incredible experience that can be both awe-inspiring and empowering. So the next time you go to bed, remember, you might just be embarking on a journey into your wildest dreams. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one-minute documentary about the history of May 1st, otherwise known as May Day presented by Short Forma. May Day, also known as International Workers' Day, commemorates historic struggles of workers and labor unions. It began during the 19th century labor movement, 
with workers in the United States fighting for an eight-hour workday and is now celebrated all over the world. For example, in India, May 1st is celebrated as Labor Day, and it marks the anniversary of the country's first Labor Day celebration in Chennai in 1923. As JFK once said, it's also the birthday of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and it is a fitting day for the signing of the minimum wage bill. May 1st designates the arrival of spring and end of winter in many cultures, dating back to ancient pagan festivals. The Maypole Dance, a popular May Day tradition in many countries, symbolizes the return of spring and new beginnings. Comment below and tell us how you'll celebrate May Day. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one-minute documentary on the history of mid-century modern design, presented by Short Forma. Mid-century modern design is a style that emerged in the mid-20th century and is characterized by its clean lines, minimalist forms, and use of natural materials. It was featured prominently in the TV series Mad Men. This style was popularized by designers like Charles and Ray Eames, who created iconic furniture pieces such as the Eames lounge chair, and architects like Richard Neutra, who designed sleek and functional homes that blended with their surroundings. Mid-century modern design was a response to the excesses of the post-World War II era, and it remains popular today for its timeless simplicity and functionality. Today, mid-century modern is experiencing a resurgence, with collectors paying top dollar for vintage pieces and designers creating new pieces inspired by the style. As designer Charles Ames said, the details are not the details, they make the design. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one-minute documentary that asks, just who were the Neanderthals? presented by Short Forma. The Neanderthals were ancient humans who lived in Europe and Asia about 400,000 years ago. They were well adapted to the cold and harsh environment of the Ice Age. Research suggests that Neanderthals were much more intelligent and sophisticated than previously thought. They had larger brains than modern humans and were skilled hunters, making weapons and tools out of stone and bone. Neanderthals also had a culture. They buried their dead, painted cave walls, and even played musical instruments. Despite all of this, Neanderthals eventually went extinct, and modern humans survived. It is still debated why this happened, but theories suggest that it may have been due to disease, climate change, or competition with humans. Understanding Neanderthals gives us a glimpse into our ancient past, and highlights the remarkable diversity and adaptability of our ancestors. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. One Minute Documentaries to Make You Smarter, presented by Short Forma. Welcome to the world of octopuses where intelligence and mystery collide. These creatures have captivated scientists and nature lovers for centuries. Octopuses have blue blood and three hearts. They can change color and texture to blend in with their surroundings. Octopuses are intelligent with problem-solving skills that rival primates. Scientists believe it's because they have the largest brain-to-body ratio of any invertebrate. These creatures use tools, solve puzzles, and open jars for food. Fossils of ancient giant octopus have even indicated that they made pictures with ocean floor debris. Future research hopes to unlock the hidden origins of the octopus brain. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one-minute documentary about Studio 54, the iconic New York City nightclub of the 1970s, presented by Short Forma. Studio 54 was famous for its wild parties and celebrity guests, including Mick Jagger, Andy Warhol, and Michael Jackson. Vanity Fair called it the height of excess and the epicenter of disco fever. The club had a man-made moon hanging over the dance floor and an aquarium in the VIP room. But despite its reputation, the club only operated for less than three years, from 1977 to 1980. After a series of legal troubles and financial problems, the owners of Studio 54 were imprisoned for tax evasion, and the club's reign came to an abrupt end. Today, Studio 54's legacy lives on as a symbol of the decadent disco era. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one-minute documentary about the Big Bang, the event that scientists believe led to the creation of the universe, presented by Short Forma. According to the theory, the Big Bang occurred approximately 13.8 billion years ago, and it was a massive explosion that resulted in the formation of all the matter and energy in the universe. The cosmic microwave background radiation which is a remnant of the Big Bang, can still be detected today. This faint glow is visible in every direction and is considered one of the strongest pieces of evidence supporting the Big Bang theory. The theory was first proposed in 1927 by Georges Lemaitre, a Belgian physicist and ironically Roman Catholic priest, reminding us of Carl Sagan's quote, Science is not only compatible with spirituality, it is a profound source of spirituality. 
The idea of the Big Bang revolutionized our understanding of the universe and continues to shape our understanding of the cosmos today. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one minute documentary about the legend of the Flying Dutchman, presented by Short Forma. Have you ever heard the story of the Flying Dutchman? Legend has it that this ghost ship has been doomed to sail the seas for eternity, unable to make port. Some say it's a punishment for its captain's hubris, while others believe it's a result of a terrible curse. But there might be a scientific explanation for this eerie phenomenon. The Flying Dutchman may have been the victim of a Fata Morgana, an optical illusion caused by temperature inversions in the atmosphere. Still, the legend persists, and sailors around the world report sightings of the ghost ship to this day. Its story has inspired countless works of art and literature, cementing its place in nautical folklore. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one-minute documentary about the thrilling spy chase for the world's most wanted man, presented by Short Forma. Meet Carlos the Jackal, one of the most notorious terrorists of the 20th century. From 1970 to the early 1990s, Carlos was responsible for a string of bombings, hijackings, and assassinations that left hundreds dead. He was known for his ruthlessness, his cunning, and his ability to evade capture. But in 1994, after a decade on the run, Carlos was finally caught in Sudan by French intelligence agents, working in conjunction with the Sudanese government. He was then extradited to France and put on trial for the murder of two French police officers and an informant. Carlos was convicted and sentenced to life in prison. As French investigator Jacques Dudouin said, the end of the myth had arrived. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Here's another one-minute documentary about the science of laughter, presented by Short Forma. Did you know that laughter is actually a physical response that triggers changes in our brain chemistry? It releases endorphins, which are the body's natural feel-good chemicals, and can even reduce stress and boost our immune systems. But why do we laugh in the first place? Some scientists believe that laughter evolved as a way for humans to bond with one another and establish social connections. Others suggest that it serves as a form of communication, helping us to convey complex emotions and meanings without using words. And did you know that laughter is contagious? Studies have shown that when we hear laughter, it activates the same regions in our brain responsible for generating our own laughter, making it difficult to resist joining in. So, the next time you find yourself laughing uncontrollably with your friends, remember that it's not just fun and games, it's actually doing wonders for your body and your social connections. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. So here's another one-minute documentary about the history of our calendar system, presented by Short Forma. Have you ever wondered why we call it Monday? Well, it turns out that Monday is named after the moon, or in Latin, Luna. In fact, all of the days of the week are named after celestial bodies. Tuesday is named after the planet Mars, Wednesday after the planet Mercury, Thursday after the planet Jupiter, Friday after the planet Venus, and Saturday and Sunday are named after Saturn and the Sun, respectively. The ancient Romans were the first to name the days of the week after celestial bodies, and their system eventually spread throughout Europe and then the world. This system was based on the belief that the positions of the planets and the moon had an influence on people's lives. So the next time you hear someone say, Happy Monday, you can thank the moon for giving us the name of the first day of the week. Subscribe to Short Forma for more. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through 30 mind-blowing documentaries in just 30 minutes. We hope you enjoyed Binge the World and discovered something new and fascinating today. If you loved what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family to spread the love of learning. To stay updated on our latest episodes and join our community of curious minds, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. If you have any suggestions or ideas for future episodes, leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and stay curious with Short Forma.